3D Touch is a feature on the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus that everyone's talking about, but Jessica and I are going to put it to the test compared to regular touch on an iPhone 6 to see if it's actually any quicker. Let's do this thing. Test number one, we are going to make a phone call to one of our favorite contacts. You're going to use 3D Touch. I'll be using regular touch. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh. You definitely won that one. Yeah, I think for me also because I've got that sliding motion right there. So I can just use my thumb and slide up to that contact. I don't have to open anything. I don't even have to tap. Next, we're going to take a selfie using the front facing camera. You are going to do it with 3D touch straight from the home screen with a quick action. I'm just going to do it in a regular way. Three, two, one. And there we go. Yeah, you are faster. I have to remember to press the home screen pretty fast to get 3D touch there. So you got to press it pretty hard, not pretty fast, hard. We're going to take that selfie that we just took in the camera app and post it to Instagram. Three, Eat my dust. Two, one. New post. Boom, there's my picture. Next. 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 Sure. <laughs> so we're pretty close on that one, but I think that the action of doing that over time, you'll get really, really quick at it. Right. I think there's definitely a benefit of pressing, holding, and then sliding up to new post and being able to get to it that way. We're going to use the keyboard now to insert a word in a phrase that is missing through the notes app, so we'll open it up. And, and it is fox. We need a fox in here. All right. Three, two, one. So you're trying to press down hard on the key I, I keyboard am. to get the trackpad. Usually to this come works up. a lot faster. This time it didn't, and then I scrub. And if I lose my place, it's no good. So there's really not much of an advantage here. You have to be quick on the draw to not lose any time. Now we're going to touch on part in the fun, the peek and pop action. You just couldn't resist. I couldn't in the mail app. So what we're going to do is we're both going to go into our mail app and open the same link tap on it, but you are going to peek at it, whereas I have to open it fully. Except no. Hmm. Oh, I think it has to maybe be the whole link. The whole link? Yeah, like oh, that. Oh, there it is. So that's kind of an interesting thing that you do. There, there we because, go. Yeah, it's the peak and pop is not that intuitive. You have to kind of like fully hold it rather than highlight. You do, but it's nice because once I do that, I can interact with that. I can open the link, I can... Um, well, you press harder to go into the full page. There we go, just did it. Whereas I only have the option to open it fully and then go back to the mail using the back button in iOS 9. So now we've done some comparison tests. What are your thoughts on 3D Touch? Overall, I really like it. I think it's gonna be more useful for certain apps than for others. I do like that the vibration makes it a little bit more integrated and immersive. And I do think that in the first few minutes of me picking it up, I wasn't as graceful as I could be. And over time, I think I'm going to really get the hang of it. But overall, I do think it adds a little certain something that other phones don't have. Well, for more on 3D Touch, make sure to check out CNET.com.